so hello everyone welcome again and today i'm going to show you another project is called hostel management system so if, uh, let's talk about some technologies what technologies we are using in this project so as an id i'm using eclipse or sts tool you know, to build the project and uh, to manage the uh, back end of the project we are using mysql the database and mysql workbench to perform the gui operation of the database so in the technology the core, core technology is like java and we are using uh, jspn serverless to handle the view and controller part of the application we are deploying that application on the tomcat server and um, for the designing purpose we are using css and js for the validation part so let's run the project and check the functionality how that project is going to be work and click on the run is and click on the run on server so this is the front page of the application and let's see the database first so you can see here the hotel management database is there so there are mainly three types of roles are there one is admin second one is student and the warden hostel warden who will manage the uh, warden thing like uh, who will manage the hostels <coughs> so let's log in with the admin and check every user the role of every user one by one so uh, you can see the role id uh, if uh, user is as admin so the role id will be always one if uh, it will come as a student then role id will be is two and if it come as a warden then role id will be three so we th this is the way we are um, rectifying the record here filtering the record here in the database so let's log in with admin and check the functionality of the admin what admin can do so you can see it's a, a simple design and uh, mainly we focus on the functionalities of the application not on the GUI part so this is the home page and if you can see here two buttons and under the drop down sign in and sign up so when I click on the sign in it will redirect me on the login page so it's, uh, I have login page here when I click on the uh, when I enter the admin username and the password is one two three so I have to enter here one two three so when I click on the sign in so admin is sign in and under the application so there is a main application like there is a main modules uh, is called user user you can um, treat as a uh, student so admin as user will come under the hostel and so admin can add the new user here so let's see for some example i'm gonna add student and the student name will be like uh, i'm gonna enter some dummy record here so you can see so i select here student and the password what is this field says it's login id so i'm gonna enter the ori at the rate one two three the password is that mobile number so i'm gonna enter some valid mobile number here as mail and date of birth and here you need to choose a profile picture so for example the for example right now i'm adding a dummy picture here so for this one this one will be good so you can reset the record the record will go scarly the all the fields will null and uh, other option we have save so i'm going to save the record and login id is invalid so gmail.com will be okay let's add an image again click on the save button so user is saved successfully now check the list available in the database you can see the new record is there and the six number entry so these are the uh, detail admin can check about the user like serial number is common like profile name login id contact dov gender role and all if user want to search some specific if admin wants to search some specific record he can use the reset, reset and search functionality of the application if we want to edit some record so you can perform that edit operation it's also there and if you want to delete some record you can select this particular record and click on the delete button 
so this is a main part of the application is a module <coughs> let's switch to the hostel part and add a hostel so if admin wants to add a hostel he can add a hostel like mm, main block and the hostel name is main block for boys and girls the contact number and the fee like i tell like 45000 per annum per semester or something and the description click on the save so hostel is saved successfully now check the list of hostel as you can see the new entry here same functionality in the hostel also admin can perform like search any hostel and edit the hostel delete create a new hostel when you click on the new hostel it will redirect again on the uh, again me on the add hostel page the next module is rooms so an admin can add a room and uh, under the uh, under the block like I recently we added the main block in the database so you can see the entries here that under the main block I want to add a room number one description so data is saved successfully check the room list so you can see under the main block there is a serial number and room number is one description and three words are there when you click on the edit I can edit the record also if I want to delete some record I can delete that record also same uh, admin can add a new button and select the button <coughs> and for which block the warden will assign so we, will, we can select any block or any hostel type from here so let's check the warden list so currently we have one model in the database and this one same functionality uh, crude operation can perform like uh, edit update and delete and the room allotted is there also allotted rooms are there and the payment list for the to manage the payments of a student so this is the admin part let's switch to the so let's switch to the database and uh, find the new entry for the warden so, and log in as a warden and check the functionality of the warden so in, let's log in as a warden so it's uh, username for the warden and the password is warden in that it one two three we can create a new warden also and create and then generate a new uh, ID password for the warden also. So warden have some restriction because admin has all the access, but warden can check the application list which is uh, going to apply by the user, and uh, he can perform the search operation and he can allot uh, a room to warden like one zero one or two one zero two to particular that application. And uh, room list, he can check the room list available. How many rooms are available? One two three. That's allowed. Uh, room to this user and for example I allot one this you can see the validation message uh, student are already exists in this room so when I click the 101 and students are already available in this room so we have to add a new room and new uh, new option and let's check the room list you can check here the room list are available there and uh, <coughs> allotted room so this room is already allotted and the payment list you can check here so warren can check the payment list he can add a new visitor in the application like if someone comes to for the inquiry purpose so admin can add that person uh, the entry of that person detail of that person for example i am adding here a relation or something like when i click on the save button need a valid contact number so some let's enter some valid contact number this one will be okay yeah that is saved now check the visitor list so admin also can check this thing and the uh, warden also can check this and also perform the same things like edit update search crude operation and can delete the record now let's switch to the user so firstly user can um, sign up in the application and apply for the for the rooms <coughs> for the hostel or uh, I have already registered and I have some users as a sub -log some login credential as a user so if you kind of see like a student at the red gmail.com is a username and the password is student at the red one two three so I'm gonna log in as a student at the red gmail.com as a username and a student at the red one two three as a password when I click on the save uh, 
login button it comes to here so I can check the hostel list room list my allotted room and other things so I or and in my permanent history so this is a, a, some common models are there in the application like my contact detail and all so here is the complete project and uh, this project if you need this project you can check the description box the complete detail of the project how can you get the source code and what will be the price of this project and uh, our team will we configure that project at your machine by remotely will connect your system and will uh, uh, configure the system that uh, project at your machine and will run it if you need this uh, please contact on the below details uh, you can mail me you can message me over the skype uh, will revert back to you within one hour and you can check the description box for the complete detail and easily you will get that source code and will make uh, sure that surely will configure that to your at, at, at your machine thank you